good day all and welcome back so today let's discuss about incoterms in order 14 community so incoterms are trade terms published by the international chamber of commerce and that is commonly used in both international and domestic trade contracts so it is basically intended to convey the assignments expenses and risk related to transportation and delivery of products so use of incoterms eliminates the inconsistencies in language by giving all the parties the same definition of specific terms within a trade agreement. So as a result, the risk of problems during shipment is reduced since all parties clearly understand their responsibilities in performing trade under the given contract. So you can define this international commercial terms by uh, opening the invoice module. And when coming under configuration, you can see the option to configure or create in core terms. So here we can see uh, we have 11 in core terms defined, and we can see short code and name of the uh, term. So it is a kind of shorthand to help understand one another and the exact terms of the business agreements arrangement. Okay, so here we can see an uh, inco term that is FCA, free carrier, uh, then free on board, then delivery at place, delivery duty, delivered duty paid. So this, for example, in the case of this DDP, here we can see code DDP and name delivered duty paid. So DDP indicates the seller assumes all the risk and transportation cost. So the seller must also clear the goods for export at the shipping port and import at the destination. Moreover, the seller must pay export and import duties for goods shipped under DDP. Uh, then the code uh, X, EXW that is X works. So under this in quote term, seller is only required to make the goods available for pickup at the seller's business location or another specified location so under this in quote term that is exw the buyer assumes all the risk and transportation cost so like this way each term indicates uh, that is gives some message to the buyer or seller so the parties involved in the trade get a clear idea about their responsibilities Okay, now let's check the configuration settings. Okay, so there, when you search for inco terms, we can see that there is an option to set a default inco term for your company. So just choose one on one inco term from the available options. Okay, so if I set um, free carrier. You can see this set and if you want to just go to external link you can see the code and name of this in quota okay so you can set this for the company and if you want to display in quote terms on orders sale orders and invoices you can just enable this option so i am enabling this and saving the settings Okay, so now let's create a customer invoice. So here we can select a customer. Okay, so after setting delivery address, uh, sorry, payment reference, invoice date and due date, you can add the product here, products here. Okay, so then here we have a tab that is other information. So here under accounting section, you can find an option uh, that is to add the inco term, that is international commercial term for your invoice. So here you can see by default free carrier uh, in quote term is set. This is because we have set this as a default in quote term for a company. And if you want to change this uh, it for your invoice, you can change from here. So right now I'm not changing this one. 
So again, save this and confirm the invoice. So in the same way, you can also define that is set an inquiry term, international commercial term for your sale order and purchase order. So if you go to sales module, and if you create a sale order or quotation, um, So here under delivery section, you can find that option to set in quote term for your quotation. So you can select one from here and use it for your quotation. And you can confirm the quotation. And the same way when you go to purchase module, there also when you're creating a request for quotation or purchase order, you can set in quote term. Okay, so here under other information, you can see that option. So that's how we create, configure, and make use of Inco terms in Odo 14 community. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com. Thank you.